Hey, what is up guys? It's Lobomon for Game and today we got a cool matchup between Yellow Hybrid Bond of Bravery versus Blue Green Hybrid. Now, Jerome's gonna go ahead and start off first. He's gonna Digivolve in his raising with the Madoki Betamon, then plays into the Pokemon, which will allow him to go ahead and top 5 check. He does reveal the Mimi, so he's gonna go ahead and grab that. Then he also adds the Argomon. Gonna go ahead and bomb deck the other three cards. Now, they're just speeding up the match, so Gabe's actually gonna go ahead and just play the TK, being able to add Dinosmon. Jerome will counterplay by playing the Mimi on the board. Gabe's gonna go ahead and Digivolve in his raising with the Agumon from BT6. He does drop the Zoe. Zoe's gonna be able to pick up the Zephyrmon. We'll be able to go ahead and recover one because he did pick up a hybrid. Now, I believe he's gonna go ahead and Digivolve on the Zoe with the Zephyrmon he just picked up. And now Gabe's security is gonna be buffed up by 6k because he does have the Inheritable by Zoe and it does have the Zephyrmon over the Zoe, so that's an additional three. Uh, Jerome's gonna go ahead and put himself to 1 by Digivolving over with the Argomon. He will be able to gain the additional memory back. He did play the Izzy this turn, so he actually won't be able to attack with Argomon because he Digivolved over it. And I believe he's thinking what he wanted to go ahead and do next, but he's gonna go ahead and Digivolve over the Argomon with the Rhino Kabuterimon, putting himself to 0, then drops the JP, putting Gabe back to 3. Gabe's gonna go ahead and Digivolve over with the Jet Sophiemon and Jet Sophiemon's gonna be able to recover plus one because it did Digivolve over with a Tamer underneath it. Then since Gabe still has red which is the Agumon in his breeding area, he's gonna be able to play the Atomic Blast, gonna go ahead and delete the Rhino Kabuterimon. And unfortunately it looks like he doesn't have the rookie but he will play double spark putting him all the way to five. Then he drops the Rhino Kabuterimon putting Gabe back to four which is pretty unfortunate. Gabe's gonna go ahead and promote, he does play the Gaia Force to go ahead and delete the Kabuterimon to maintain tempo. Jerome did evolves over his JP with the Metal Kabuterimon, gonna go ahead and suspend the Agumon. And I would assume that he wants to go ahead and swing in the Agumon, but I believe he's not gonna do that just yet. And wow, he decides to go ahead and play the Evolution Ancient and the HPD to go ahead and digivolve into his Ancient Beetlemon. And he's still currently at 5, so that's a lot of memory to work with. He's gonna go ahead and swing to the Agumon, he's gonna go ahead and trash and then check for 1 and does recover into a Tactical Retreat. So Gabe is still currently at 5. Then he's gonna go ahead and play the JP, putting himself to 2. Then debating to Digibuff over it, but he's actually gonna go ahead and pass turn. Gabe's gonna start off with 3 memory again. He's gonna hatch in his raising. Then Digibuff's over with the Agumon. So we have not seen the Thai Tamer yet. He does play the Zoe, gonna go ahead and put himself to 0. Adds the Zephyrmon again. Then Digibuff's over the Jet Sophiemon with the Dinosmon. Gonna go ahead and put Jerome back to 4. Now Jerome's gonna go ahead and untap the Pokemon. He's gonna swing with the Ancient Beetlemon, swinging for one check, does hit into the tie, we finally see the tie, now Bond is ready to go ahead and come out. Now Jerome is thinking if he wants to go ahead and start swinging in, because he needs to prep up to make sure he doesn't die next turn. So he's gonna go ahead and swing with the Pokemon, and it does die, then Dinosmon's gonna go ahead and recover plus one, Madoki Beetlemon's gonna swing, does hit into the Dual Tamer, TK and Kari, then Jerome's just gonna go ahead and pass turn actually, I guess his hand's not that great. Gabe's gonna go ahead and start off with 5 memory, he's gonna push the Agumon out to go ahead and gain 1 and draw 1, now he's at 6. Looking like he's ready to go into Bond, but I guess he needs to figure out what he needs to do first, because he doesn't have the Bond of Bravery in hand, from the looks of it, yep. So he's gonna go ahead and Digivolve over to Zoe first, could be another Zephyrmon, but it looks like it's gonna be the Kazumon instead. He's gonna go ahead and swing with the Dinosmon over the Madoki Betamon, and Digivolves over the Dinosmon with the... Susanamon so gonna be able to delete the ancient Beetlemon. Now Jerome won't be able to activate the effect. I guess he doesn't have a hybrid in hand at the moment. He does Digivolve in his raising with the Siakumon, which is really good, but it's a little bit too late now because Gabe's board is pretty wide. And then Hart plays the Rhino Kabuterimon, which is again pretty unfortunate. Now Gabe's gonna start off with 9 memory. Looks like. Nope, he's gonna start off with 8. Susanamon's so gonna swing for 3 checks, does survive from all 3. Gonna go ahead and swing with the Kazumon. Swings into the Ancient Tri and it will die. Agumon's gonna go ahead and swing and Gabe reveals the hybrid in hand for game one. Now we're gonna go ahead and go into game two. Jerome decides to make Gabe go first. He's gonna hatch in his raising, then drops the Dotamer, TK, and Kari. Jerome's gonna go ahead and hatch in his raising. Digivolves over the Upamon with the Siakumon. Then he's gonna go ahead and drop down the Mimi. Gonna put himself to zero. Then drops the JP. Gonna go ahead and put Gabe to three. Gabe plays another Zoe, putting himself to zero. He's gonna be able to add the Zephyrmon again. Then he's gonna be able to recover plus one. Then I guess from here, Gabe's just gonna go ahead and pass turn. So Jerome's gonna start off with three memory again. He's gonna promote the Siakumon this time. Looking like he has the hybrid in hand. 
Well, he's actually going to drop the Pokemon first, top 5 check. He does land the JP, and he does hit other couple hybrids and D10 warriors. He will go ahead and pick up the Metacabot Terramon along with the JP. He's going to Digivolve over his first JP with the Metacabot Terramon he just picked up. He will gain the additional 2 memory back due to Pokemon's effect, so he's going to go ahead and put himself back to 1. Then debating what he wants to go ahead and do, but it looks like he does play the HPD and the Evolution Ancient once more to go into the Ancient Troymon, which is actually a pretty crazy play. He's going to play the Hammer Spark, putting himself back to 2, then drops the JP to choke Gabe back to 1. Now, Gabe's going to go ahead and respond by playing the Atomic Blaster, deleting the Pokemon and the Sayakumon. Jerome's going to hatch in his Raising again and Digibob's over with the Madoki Benamon. And now he has the Ancient Troymon set on board, so he's going to start swinging in. He does hit it into a TK. Now debating what he wants to go ahead and pick up from his security, Jerome's going to go ahead and play the Izzy, putting himself to 2. Oh, and Gabe will go ahead and pick up that Ophanimon full art character, which is the promo from BT07 that you can get in the boosters. Then he's going to go ahead and pass turn, so Gabe's going to go ahead and Digivolve and is raising with the Agumon. Then he's going to Digivolve over his Zoe with the Zephyrmon. Then goes into the Jet Selfiemon to recover plus 1 since there is a Tamer underneath it. Then finally goes into the Ophanimon to recover plus 1 again. So Gabe is actually set for his security. Let's just hope they're good recoveries. Now Jerome's going to go ahead and start off at 3 again. And what's interesting is he's not going to do anything, not even attack. He's going to go ahead and pass turn. Gabe will start off at 3 again. And it looks like Tempo will be in his favor this time. So he, he's going to swing with the Ophanimon. And it does hit into the Evolution Ancient, which will be added to hand. Then he's going to play the Gaia Force, killing off the Ancient Troy. That's pretty insane. Now, Jerome's going to have to start off with 5 memory. However, he has multiple tamers on the board. Debating if he wanted to Digivolve over the JP, but he remembered it was still breeding phase. So he's going to promote the Madoki Betamon first, which is fine. Then Digivolves over the JP with the Metal Kabuterimon. Then decides to Digivolve over the Izzy with the Beetlemon. Beetlemon's going to go ahead and top 5 check. And looking at it, he does land a couple hybrids and the Ancient Beetlemon, but unfortunately he can't add that. He will be able to add the Metal Kabuterimon though. Looks like he's debating which one he wants to add actually. It looks like he's going to go ahead and stick with the Beetlemon, which is actually not bad of a choice. It's good to start digging into your pieces again. He's going to do it once more over the Izzy. Top 5 checking again, does reveal Pokemon. Two Tamers and we'll be able to add the Tamer which is JP and the Metal Kabuterimon. Now he's able to go ahead and Digivolve over for 1 to pass turn but it doesn't matter because Gabe's going to start off with 3 because of TK. Then with the Dual Tamer he could gain additional memory if he did swing but he's going to pass turn by playing the JP on the board. Gabe's going to leave his Agumon and his Raising. Ophanimon's going to go ahead and swing and it does survive and looking at it Jerome's actually having a good tempo at the moment because he does have a wide board. If he carefully swings into security, he could potentially win this game. He doesn't have a rookie in his raising, so right now I guess he needs to start cycling or start swinging in. He does play the Pokemon, putting himself to zero, top five check. And it looks like he misses a tamer, but is able to add that hybrid. I'm not too sure what that was. My apologies. And he's going to go ahead and Digivolve over the JP with a Metal Kabuterimon, and then from there, Pokemon's gonna be able to refund two back, so he's at one, then Digivolves over one of his other hybrids with the Rhino Kabuterimon, putting himself to zero. Now, we'll use the when attacking effect to Digivolve into the Ancient Beetlemon, and because it's turn priority, Jerome's gonna be able to trash. However, what should have happened was trash, then Seraphimon recover plus one, and then continue to security check. The reason is, security check happens after everything resolves. However, this is okay. Nothing really changed at this point. And my apologies, I realized that I've been saying Ophanimon instead of Seraphimon. So again, my apologies, guys. And it looks like Gabe is ready to throw down that Atomic Blaster, which is going to go ahead and pop the Pokemon, of course, and debating what he wants to choose for his next target, which will be the Metal Kabuterimon. And then Jerome's going to start off with three again. He does promote the Madoki Betamon. Now, he has four security attacks right now. However, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to attack to it just yet. He's going to Digivolve over his Beetlemon into the Rhino Kabuterimon, putting himself to 1 if I'm not mistaken. Then we'll use the 1 attacking effect to Digivolve into the Ancient Troy. Now he's pretty much set on the board. He does have defense. He has the Madoki Betamons on the board as well. Um, don't think there's much that Gabe can do because he still doesn't have a tie on the board. So he's not able to go into Bond. He will go ahead and Digivolve over the Dual Tamer into Zephyrmon. Then Digivolves over the Zephyrmon with the Jet Selfiemon to go ahead and recover plus one. And then he's going to go ahead and play the tie. He finally got into it. I'm going to put that on the board. Jerome's going to go ahead and start for three again. 
He does have 4 Digimons on the board. He does Digivolve and is raising with his Yakumon, which is again good. He's gonna swing with the Ancient Troy. Ancient Troy will actually die into the Bond of Bravery, so that's pretty unfortunate. Then the Rhino Kabuterimon is gonna go ahead and swing into the Security again, gonna Digivolve over into the Ancient Beetlemon. Does swing into a TK and Kari, so it will survive this turn. And then debating what Jerome wants to go ahead and do from here, he's gonna go ahead and play a Hammer Spark, gonna go ahead and play the Ice Wall, and then gonna go ahead and play a JP putting Gabe back to 3 and I believe they're still in the same amount of security so Gabe won't be able to gain additional memory then Gabe's gonna go ahead and play the Holy Flame on the Madoki Betamon to have minus 3 security next turn and Digivolves into the Dinosmon to go ahead and pass turn and now it's Jerome's turn and I guess he accidentally forgot to draw so he's gonna promote first and then you're gonna see him draw for draw turn or draw phase he then decides to promote his JP, gonna go ahead and Digivolve over into a hybrid, I'm not too sure which one it is. Okay, it will be the Arbormon, and thinking what he wants to go ahead and drop, I see another Madoki Betamon in his hand, so... I mean, it doesn't really do anything much in this matchup unless he hits into a Reinforced Memory Boost. He does Digivolve over the Arbormon with the Rhino Kabuterimon to go ahead and cycle. Gonna go ahead and drop the Davis. Putting Gabe back to 3, he's going to top 3 check, hits a Pokemon, hits a Mimi Tamer, and hits one of the hybrids which is green, which he will be able to add since Davis can add 1 green and 1 blue. Now Gabe's turn, he's going to go ahead and check his trash to potentially see if there's any more Hammer Sparks that's left in the deck or that could be potentially in security. So what he's going to go ahead and do first is promote his Agumon since he's still in breeding phase. He's going to gain 1 and draw 1, putting himself to 5. Then it looks like he wants to go ahead and go for the bond play. Yep, he decides to do it. He's going to put himself to 1. He's going to go ahead and trash the top 2. Now note that this bond of bravery will go ahead and die. But Dynaspawn will go ahead and recover plus 1 since it did trash security. And while attacking, he's going to go ahead and tap both dual tamers to go ahead and kill off the Madoki Betamon. He does swing into the Siakumon and it does survive. And then from here, he's going to go ahead and start swinging with the bond of bravery. Gonna go ahead and kill off the other Madoki Betamon, swings into security, gonna trash first and then hit into a Hammer Spark, putting Gabe to zero. So that's pretty unfortunate because I think he had a hybrid and had to go for game. So from here, I guess he has to set up for a defensive play, but I'm not too sure if there's a way he can actually save himself. Looks like he has the tactical retreat and his only option that he can do is actually play that card to put Dynaspawn back into security so he can have three. Jerome's gonna go ahead and start off with 3, he's gonna swing with the Ancient Beetlemon, it does survive, swing with the Rhino Kabuterimon, it does survive as well, then hesitating to swing with the Siakumon, but he's gonna do it anyway, then he goes into a hybrid for game 2 guys, now we're going into game 3. Now that was pretty an insane comeback because the last card in Jerome's security was a Hammer Spark, had it not been a Hammer Spark, Gabe could've got game 2 and that would've been match. So Jerome's gonna go ahead and go first, or Gabe made him go first, he's gonna go ahead and put the Siakumon in Raising and drop the Izzy. Now Gabe's gonna go ahead and did you evolve in his raising with the Agumon, then plays the Zoe to go ahead and recover a hybrid. Jerome promotes and drops the Pokemon, putting Gabe to 2. He's gonna top 5 check, revealing both tamers and hybrids. He's gonna go ahead and add one of his hybrids. I'm sorry, it's upside down. It looks like that's a Rhino Kabuterimon, Andy Davis. That way he can set up memory next turn. Then Gabe answers it by just playing the Atomic Blaster to go ahead and kill off both Digimons. Now Jerome's gonna have to start from scratch again. He does Digivolve in the raising with the Madoki Betamon. Does drop down to Davis, revealing the top 3, gonna go ahead and add Siakumon. Unfortunately, there was no green hybrids that turn, so Gabe's gonna go ahead and promote his Zoe into Zephyrmon. Then, Jerome's gonna go ahead and promote Adoki. Digivolves over to Izzy with the Beetlemon, gonna go ahead and reveal top 5. Does hit the JP and also hits the Argomon, which is our the only two targets actually. Then decides to go ahead and drop the Pokemon, building that board again. Gonna go ahead and do the top 5 check. Does hit into a Tamer and a Hybrid at the last two cards. Gonna be able to add both of those. Now Gabe's gonna go ahead and start off with two. Does Digivolve his Zephyrmon into another Zephyrmon for only one cost? And I believe he's gonna go ahead and drop that Tamer down, which is a tie. Gonna go ahead and start off with three for Jerome. Jerome's gonna hatch in his Raising. Does Digivolve in his Raising with the Siakumon, which he grabbed from the last turn. Does go into a Metal Kabuterimon. Gonna go ahead and rest the... Zephyrmon, then Digivolves over into the Rhino Kabuterimon, and I'm assuming he's ready to swing into it, that way he can do piercing. Or, I'm sorry, he doesn't have piercing, but he's gonna be able to trash the security. And, yep, it does trash the tie, so that's actually really good on Jerome's end. Now, Gabe's gonna promote, he's gonna gain one and draw one. Then, looking like he's ready to bond, actually, which is pretty risky because he's gonna put himself to two securities left. 
and there was a guy of force in security that could have saved them but anyway he's gonna go ahead and swing into the ancient beetle mon gonna go ahead and pop off the madoki and because it did kill it off it's gonna be able to trash the top security won't get any security checks but this will be fine does trash a hammer spark so that's actually good on gabe's end but he only has one memory to work with and jerome was able to drop down the arbormon so i'm not too sure what he can do from here but he's gonna go ahead and play the tk gonna go ahead and look at the top two security he does reveal the yellow tk again so he's gonna be able to recover one because that is a yellow card he's gonna promote this yakumon then i believe he's gonna swing with the Pokemon first it does die swings with arbormon next and there's nothing in security that saves gabe this turn so siakumon's gonna swing for game guys now that was a pretty close match so here's gabe's deck profile for the bond of bravery yellow hybrid and then upcoming will be jerome's deck which is a green and blue hybrid thank you guys so much i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe this is lobomon for games signing out thanks guys